Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. I'm Mark here with another episode of Free File Friday. And today we're going to be talking about cake toppers. Now, if you don't know what a cake topper is, um, it's some words or an image or image and words which are cut out to stick on top of a cake, be it a birthday, wedding, party, anything like that. So yeah, we're going to get into it and show you now exactly how we make these. I'll show you how to make this one and this one. And then you can get the gist of just how to make these to yourself. Now, it is an episode of Free File Friday. So I will give uh, one of these away for free. It'll probably be that one. And maybe that one as well. We'll see how I feel. The past three weeks, I have been doing a Free File Friday episode. Where I've been doing a video tutorial of how to make it yourself. But I have also been providing the file for you to download absolutely free. So there's not going to be any change in this episode. Um, regarding that, you still will be able to get the file absolutely free. But this time, I'm going to make a little change to it. Because my average view duration on these um, on these episodes are under three minutes. The last one was 21 minutes long, and the view duration was less than three minutes. Uh, so it either means people are coming in, watching it for a couple of seconds, downloading the file, and then just clicking off. Um, or there's just some people who are clicking it for a couple of seconds and obviously there's some people who are watching it all the way through um, So for that to, to make a little change with this week I'm, I'll still provide a link to download it, but they will it will need a password to open the file So when I'm editing the video, I'll just put it on the screen It'll be there for a while so you'll be able to see it and be able to copy it down It won't be anything complex. It'll just be like a word or a couple of numbers or something something easy so you, for you to remember Okay, we'll try and keep it nice and short for you I'm not going to cut one out today, so we'll save a bit of time there. So we'll start off with uh, this one. Very simple. It's just a nice looking font. What I suggest is go to dafont.com. It's where I get all my fonts. Unless I need to pay for one, then I'll just buy it from wherever it needs to come from. Um, and I've got plenty of ones in there. It's got in the calligraphy section, and there's loads in there. You can handwrite in plenty of them. Just download them and install them to your computer. So, yeah, we'll start off in Inkscape. With the text tool, I'm just going to type the word Mr. Right, just make that a little bit bigger. And the font I've used there is called Hello. Nice and easy. Job done. Now, Control D, which will duplicate that. Just add an S on the end. Mr. and Mrs. And now we just need the and sign. So we'll just, again, Control D that. And then you've got your and sign there. And then you just move them into place where they'd look good. Um, yep, that looks all right to me. And it's just adding them all together and adding the spike. But with some other fonts, you'll notice where they join, they can be really thin. So if you click on the actual text, you can hold control and press the close bracket and it'll add an offset. I like to do that with all my cutouts of like text and stuff, just to make it a little bit thicker. So it doesn't snap so easy. All right, here we go. Nice and easy for them. So now we can just select them all. We can just go path union. Now it is one object. If we look at the stroke path, we can notice it. It doesn't cut in any of it. All right, okay. And now just to add the spike, completely up to you where you put the spike. Very easy to do. You just make a rectangle and you just go path, object to path. Now you can go to the edit paths by nodes, drag and select them all. And then top left here, where you've got add insert new node, do that, select them two, and you can hold control, drag that down, select the bottom three, and you can just convert them to one node. You can just draw one if you wanted to. And then also you can just fill that. Whichever way is easiest, completely up to you. Um, so we'll pop that, we'll put this one there. And again, we'll union all that up. Perfect. So the stroke on there. That easy, guys. So including showing you, that took, what, three, four minutes? Doing that on your own, it'll take like 30 seconds. And again, with all the fonts you've got access to, um, it's a lot more fun, trust me. Uh, right, we'll do this one next. Again, this one's very, very easy. Uh, it's just a case of doing Mr. and Mrs. again. 
Just in case doing Mr. and Mrs. again. Again, we'll go with the same font. Because it's a nice font. Duplicate that, Control D. And we'll move Mrs. over there. But you'll see on this the and. Oh, wrong one. The, the and logo is a different font. So if I move that over here. I'm not sure for what font I use, to be honest with you, but uh, we'll see if we can find them now. There we go, that one. Again, it's a bit thin, so control and close bracket to add an offset. We'll drag that into place about there. We'll make them a little bit bigger. And then we'll put this in place. Let me just add snap it on so it's in the same place. And about there. Perfect. Okay. So we'll just go path union that and then we'll just sort out any any odd nodes down here. Just select them and delete them. Nice and easy. Yeah. So we've gone with Smith on this one. It's not my name, it was just the most common one I can think of. Uh, again, I think we're using the hello font there. Yep. Yeah. We'll just pop him randomly there for now. Okay, now we're just going to draw a circle around all of it all. If you don't know how to draw the perfect circle, I've shown it in the, all the other videos. Just click and drag, and while you're dragging, hold control and shift. Draw the perfect circle every time. Uh, probably have roughly in the middle. I'm not going to align it because it probably wouldn't go dead center, so I'm just going to eyeball it. Change it to black, and we're going to change the stroke to uh, about 10. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So we're going to go path, object to path, path, stroke to path as well. Sorry, got to do that. So yeah, select the square, hold shift, select the actual outer circle, and then difference. Okay, got this shape now. Looks a bit funny. We'll move him up a little bit. And we'll probably bring a square down a little bit more there. Oh, I unioned that then, didn't I? Force of habit. Yeah, perfect. And then... Just going to find a leaf. That one will do. And we'll trace bitmap on that. So all I've done is Control C and Control V, copy and paste to get that into here. With those ones, I did draw my own. I just got a picture of relief and just traced over it. But for this one, try and keep the video nice and short so we can get more than three minute view time, hopefully. Um, and. There we go, happy with that. So we've got our leaf. Now we just need to drag it into place where we want it. I don't know what's going on over there. You know, every other time when I made this, this didn't happen once. Now I'm actually recording it. <laughs> like I don't, I don't even know what that, what that one is. Ah, oh, there you go. Right, Let's try again. Snap it off. Drag him into place there, and I'm just going to duplicate that again. Control D. And then you can just go object and we'll flip it horizontally. And we'll drag it to this side. Happy with that. Control D. And I'll bring that about halfway down. Control D, object. Flip horizontally. You can't just hold shift and press the arrow keys. So it moves exactly 
center and then did we do any more on that we did we'll see how it goes anyway we'll use the same leaf to do the smaller one so we'll control d that hold control and shift while shrinking it down and then we'll just pop it in place Select all three, control and D, and then again we'll go object and flip horizontally. And then we can move them into this side. Again, if you can design this file to obviously sell, just take your time with it. I, I, like I said, I'm trying to keep the video nice and short. Uh, for y'all right i'm gonna path i'm gonna combine them and control d which will duplicate so to rotate there you select it once select it a second time so you notice these will change from transform to rotate perfect uh, so with that one selected hold shift and select them i'm going to control d so i've got a copy object Flip horizontally. Then we got them there, and we can put something at the bottom there. Let's go back to the hard S. Uh, SVG. Let's just copy. I said, have fun with this. Do whatever you want with it. I think that looks a little bit better now. <laughs> okay, so all we need now is the spike. You could just use that from the heart and you can just pull that down. But yeah, we're not going to do that. We're just going to draw in there. Path. Object to path. Again, select all the four nodes. Add node. Select the middle two. Hold control, drag them down, select the bottom three, and join. I'm going to make that a little bit thinner. So basically, you, you're going to want as much of the words connecting now to the edges as possible. Because that adds strength to it. So the most connecting to the edge there and the most connecting to the edge here, the stronger obviously the, the piece is going to be. So I can probably curve all the way there and all the way there. That'll do. And then for the surname, if I come to about here with the S and then we'll bring the H over. So the T is in there, the H is nice. I'll bring the H loop up to there as well and that'll add a bit more strength to it. Yeah, perfect. Okay, right, so now what we need to do is go path, union that, add the stroke. And now you can see it as one object. At this moment in time, I'm just gonna delete that connect them and we'll delete this bit could leave that in but so I'm just deleting that now because such a small gap we'll bring this down so you'll notice here with the eye obviously that is not connected to anything make it a smidge bigger you can just get completely get rid of them if you want. So 
because what I've done there is just made an absolute monster of that. <laughs> That'll do. So there we go. That is now one solid piece. Again, ready to cut out. Send that to your laser and it'll cut that out lovely. So yeah, there we go, guys. Nice short one today on how to do these. Well, like I said, have a mess around with it. Again, I made the happy birthday one exactly the same as I made this. I drew the circle. Um, I just got a picture of a balloon off Google, traced it, just added them in there. It's the exact same font. And then with this Mr. and Mrs. one, that's as basic as I could uh, as I could do it. It's just a standard font, standard square font. I've just made sure everything was connected. Again, just moving the nodes. And it's something I've already showed you there, so you can give that a go yourself. So I do hope you enjoyed that today, guys. I do hope you have learned something there. And uh, yeah, just remember to open the file. The password will be on the screen somewhere. If you missed it, you just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> no, joking. No, it'll it'll be on the screen nice and big. Like I said, it'll cover the screen. She'll know exactly where it is. Anyway, guys, I said, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Put a comment down as well of what you thought about it. If you're stuck or anything, I put a comment down in the comment section. And, um, yeah, if you've got any suggestions or if you'd like to see us anything you'd like me to make, again, put it down in the comments. And, um... Yeah, I'll have a look at it, see if there's something I can do, and um, I'll do a video on it. Okay, right, so yeah, do hope you enjoyed it. We'll uh, we'll see you in the next video. You all take care. Ta.